Hi students, welcome back. Today's topic is simple applications of refraction of light. In this video, we will focus on real and apparent depth. Second, apparent bending of a stick under water. Then third, some consequences of the refraction of light. So let's start. What is real and apparent depth? An object when placed in a denser medium like glass or water and viewed from a rarer medium like air appears to be at a depth less than its real depth. This is because of refraction of light. When we are viewing from a rarer medium and the object is placed in a denser medium, it appears to be at the place less than its real depth. So this is due to refraction of light. Now let's see how real and apparent depth are related to refractive index. As you can see in this figure, consider a point O which is kept at the bottom of a transparent medium such as glass or water. Now PQ is the surface separating the medium this is the medium from air. Now let's say a ray of light incident normally along OA. What will happen to this incident light? It will pass undeviated. So it passes straight undeviated along OA and A dash. Similarly, consider another ray that is OB from the object O and what happens at this point it gets refracted and as it travels from a denser medium to a rarer medium it will move away from the normal. So now the refracted ray is BC. Now if we stretch the refracted ray BC backward, it will meet at the point I. Now so, the ray gets refracted and passes along BC. On producing this ray BC backward, it appears to come from the point I. And hence, AI represents the apparent depth which is less than the real depth. Real depth is a O. Apparent depth is A I. Now the point A and B are actually very close to each other and both the rays O A and B C enter the eye simultaneously. In this figure they have been sewn separately for the sake of clarity of diagram. Actually they are very close to each other since we need a diagram to draw, so we have shown them separately. Now let's see how they are related to the refractive index. The same diagram, I have placed it here. AO, AO and BN dash are parallel. Why? Because they are the normal drawn. And OB, OB is the diagonal between parallel lines. When two parallel lines are separated by a diagonal, what happens? There is an alternate angle, right? So, A, O, B and O, B, N are alternate angles and alternate angles are equal. Now, let's see this angle B, I, a and C, C, B, N. These two are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are equal. Now let's see in triangle B, A, O. B, A, O. What is this type triangle? It's a right angle triangle. In this triangle, what will be sin I? Sin I is always perpendicular by hypotenuse. Here the perpendicular is AB. 
right? So, VA by hypotenuse is OB. So, we have written that OB. Similarly, in tri right angle triangle, IAB, IAB, hypotenuse is IB. And what is the perpendicular? Again, it's BA or AB. So, sine R is BA by IB. We all know that refractive index of air with respect to a medium is mu is represented by sine i by sine r. Then putting these values there, what we get? B A B A cancel. So we get I B by O B. Now this is refractive index of air. So we will write air on the right side and on the left side we write with respect to medium. Now suppose we want refractive index of a medium with respect to air then what we will how can we calculate it? It's reciprocal of the another one. So refractive index of medium with respect to air is 1 by refractive index of air with respect to medium. So we this one was refractive index of air with respect to medium. So the reciprocal will be OB by IB. I have earlier told you that point B is very close to A. This point B is very close to A. So what we can say IB IB is equal to IA. Similarly, OB, OB is equal to OA. So, substituting in place of IB, we can write IA. And in place of OB, we are putting OA. So, what we will get in this formula, instead of OB, we will put OA. And instead of IB, we have put IA. So, what is OA? OA is real depth. So, we have written real depth or real height. What is IA? It's apparent height. So, refractive index of media with respect to air is equal to real depth by apparent depth. So, this is the relationship between refractive index and real height and apparent height. Now, from this formula, how can we find apparent height? Apparent height is simple. Real depth by refractive index. Now, what is apparent shift? Shift is the difference between the height or difference between real height and apparent height. Shift can also be written as real depth. Then 1 minus what is apparent depth? It's real depth by mu. So, 1 by mu. The shift depends upon three factors. The three factors are first refractive index of a medium. Then thickness of a medium, then color or wavelength of the incident light. Let's see that. The shift increases with the increase in refractive index of a medium and also with the increase in thickness of the denser medium. But the shift decreases with the increase in wavelength of the light used. The shift is more for violet light than for the red light. Now two important points which you should remember here is that when the observer is in rarer medium like air and the object is in denser medium like water or glass then always the apparent height is smaller than the real height. To a bird, a fish, bird is in air, fish is in water, bird rarer medium Fisher denser medium. This appears to be nearer than its actual depth. Now, if the observer is in denser medium, like fish in water, and the object is in rarer medium, like air, to a fish which is in water, the bird appears to be farther than the actual height. So, in this case, parent depth is always greater than the real depth. Now, let's do this simple question. Now, some coins are found lying at the bottom of a pond 
of water 1.4 meter deep. What is the depth of the coins when viewed from above the water surface? This is asking for apparent depth. The refractive index is given. So how can we find apparent depth? We know refractive index is real depth by apparent depth. We have got real depth. That's 1.4. Refractive index is 4 by 3. Now apparent depth can be found by real depth by refractive index. So we get 1.05 meter. Now let's see some consequences of refraction of light. In our daily life, we come across many phenomena which are caused by refraction of light. A star appears twinkling in the sky. Why? As the light from the star travels through many layers of the Earth's atmosphere, the light of the star is refracted many times and in random directions. These random refraction result in twinkling of the star in the sky. Similarly, the sun is seen a few minutes before it rises above the horizon in the morning and in the evening few minutes longer after it sets. Why does it happen so? Let's see this diagram. The density of air near the surface of the earth is higher. Now the rays of the sun coming through space enter at the top of the earth's surface and travel from a rarer to denser medium. When they travel from rarer to denser medium, they bend slightly towards normal at each refraction and appear to come. Actually, they are bending like this, right? So, they appear to come from the apparent position of the sun. They bend slightly towards normal at each refraction and appear to come from an apparent position of a sun. Hence, sun appears to rise a few minutes before the actual rise. Similarly, here, a coin is kept in a vessel and not visible when seen from just below the edge of a vessel. But it can be viewed from the same position when water is poured into the vessel. Because when water is poured, there is a refraction or bending of light rays. So, it could be easily visible. Print appears to be raised when a glass block, similarly a piece of paper struck at the bottom of glass block, appears to be raised when seen from above. A tank appears shallow than its actual depth. Similarly, a person legs appears to be shorter when standing in a tank. So these are the consequence of refraction of light. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel for more updates.